straight like that and they've passed everybody which makes them awfully difficult cars to race against at Monza because they can overtake you but you can't overtake them. Rene Arnoux the leading from the two Ferraris of Schechter and somebody's lost it at the back very badly. Somebody has gone off the circuit and thumped the arm code very hard indeed. There is Nelson, as we look again, it's Regazzoni in the white car and Nelson Piquet in the Brabham Alfa Romeo at the Bragan curve. And Regazzoni moves across to the left as we look in slow motion. And there is Piquet, he's lost the Brabham Alfa Romeo altogether. He's slammed into the Armco as Arnu leads, Schechter second, and James Hunt, comment. Well, it's impossible to see exactly what happened from those pictures, Murray, but uh, in fact, the Curva Grande is a completely flat-out curve in a modern Formula One car. There was no need for Regazzoni to use all the road, although one does. It just depends on whether he saw Piquet, because Piquet was coming around the outside of him, trying to overtake, probably with justification, but if he wasn't far enough up and, far up enough and was on a blind spot for Regazzoni, then, of course, uh, it was an ine inevitable thing. Well, at the end of lap two, that's Jochen Maas's arrows going slowly round the Parabolica as he's passed by the leaders, and the leader this time is René Arnoux, chased by Schechter in the Ferrari, chased by Villeneuve in the Ferrari. There is Lafitte, and in fifth position, Jean-Pierre Jabouy, up to the Retificio, and, and, and that's half a motor car down there. The rear end of it, as we look down from the helicopter, and behind the trees and yet it's it's number six that's the front part that's the front part of Nelson Piquet's Brabham Alpha do you think James what's your comment well it looks to me as if as if he must be out and all right because the cockpit of the car isn't damaged it's uh, it must have been a huge shunt Murray to have broken the car